Well, all right, all right, all right, and welcome back to another exciting episode of the Planet Gen X podcast. I'm Sean, and that over there is Brian. What's up, everybody? Oh, yeah. Well, guys, we got a little something extra special now. We're going to try something new here. We have found a video from another YouTuber, Andy Reloads, and he has done a fantastic job on Comile... <laughs> Pulling together all of the latest news on Star Wars Outlaws. And y'all know. Otherwise known as a culmination. Culmination. That's the word I was looking for. And y'all know how much I really want and, and am looking forward to Outlaws. We've talked about it in the past. And he did such a great job with putting this together that uh, I thought it'd be cool to take a look at it and uh, see what's up. So there it is. All right, guys. Let's take a look. Star Wars Outlaws oh. was announced by Ubisoft nearly a year ago, and there's been a lot of new information released about the game since then, officially and unofficially, including rumors and leaks. So by the end of this video, oh, you'll be fully up to rumors. speed on what That's this what game is all about, and it's looking pretty yeah, promising I was, so far. It, but let's first start with the release date. When is it actually yeah. coming out? Well, I reckon we'll be seeing this launch in the next six months if there is no official delay, as oh, Ubisoft so. officially stated in their Q3 financial call recently that they will be launching a large game in the financial year of 2024 to 2025, which runs from April to yeah, April. Yeah, so basically all the online material insider, right now Tom has... Tom Henderson recently publishing an article uh, stating that internally Ubisoft are that, planning to specific. release this game mm. in the first half of this year, so before the month of June, and specifically targeting a May release in time yeah, I think May, May the 4th is really hopeful. I don't know about all that. Further hype for yeah, I mean, Disney also they never do that, an article, right? Which has now since been amended. Yeah. They stated that this game would be releasing... And he talks about how they always do it on a Thursday. Which in the works with yeah. what Ubisoft told its shareholders. And because of that, Ubisoft then subsequently reached out to IGN to inform them that this was incorrect, which adds further legitimacy to this May release rumor or leak from Tom Henderson. Now, Ubisoft likes to release their games on Thursdays, Assassin's Creed Mirage and Avatar Frontiers of Pandora both coming out on that day of the week most recently, which leaves us I mean, with a likely late, date of either Thursday the 2nd of May, release, just before the right? May the 4th event, or more yeah, likely, I'm in my opinion, like, Thursday the 9th like of May, a week after the celebrations. So provisionally Christmas pencil thing, that date in, sure. pending any delayed announcements, I would say. Now, as for storyline and current gen info, we've got some new stuff to discuss Alrighty. here. First of all, so we're all on the same page. This game will be releasing on PS5, Xbox Series, X and S, and PC through Ubisoft Connect, so it Sounds will not be available on Steam upon launch. I don't know, I'm Secondly, not a huge fan Julian of the Gerais, Ubisoft the creator, Connect. Director, but... recently yeah, I don't know, I've never used it, but I imagine a lot of people are going to be pissed it's not on Steam. Or 300 hour initially. epic, unfinishable RPG. It is very dense, very focused, and is very manageable, which is chef's kiss, music to my ears after yeah. playing AC Valhalla for over 400 hours. Ooh. And before I forget, yeah, that's a good it is point. a single player um, game, by the way. Ubisoft, no multiplayer or co-op um, will be featured kind here of in have Outlaws. A, a Thirdly, of the narrative director, Navid Kavari, recently confirmed to Game yeah. Informer that Outlaws will only have one ending due to its narrative that's constraints, cool. which will slightly vary upon your own still reputation want it to be level big, though. with various syndicates and factions. And yeah, and yeah, I, we will get to that a little later. I'm fourthly, sure, the story right? takes place uh, between the Empire Strikes right? Back but... and the Return of the Jedi. So it's but in like the middle say, of a civil has war a between the Empire that, so. and the Rebel Alliance. Right. But this game isn't about either Whereas, of them, but rather about you know, Kay Vass navigating her way through the criminal underworld, which is at its peak operational level at this moment in time. Not very long at all. Now, this all sounds very promising, and that's a good segue onto exploration yeah, planets and map size now because julian went on to tell famitsu the <clears> japanese <throat> gaming website recently that each planet has specifically been designed with the gameplay experience in mind with all planets having been selected based on each crime syndicate's influence upon yeah. them and more on syndicates specifically a little later because unlike starfield each planet has well, been I was about to say this is Starfield done right. You know what I mean? I just looking at it, there's a lot of similarities. Kind of dense single player game. Speaking there, of there which, are, Julian um, confirmed that there aren't planets created for just side know. content. In fact, there will be a God, reason in the story just, why mm. we need to travel there. So, you know, so, so the graphics are obviously going to be a big order. deal. And yeah. Survivor, it did which really, means no bloated side content. Uh, a statement basically saying it's going to be the most detailed game. 
quite encouraging uh, everything to be with, their, with you. Um, Additionally, Julian, the creative director, also said to Famitsu uh, that the moon of Tashara, as an example of map size, water. was crafted alongside Lucasfilm but and is approximately equivalent a lot, to two lot or three maps in on Assassin's that Creed Odyssey, and not say, a full map. Know, so expect around I don't care how pretty three a game is. Give me a story. In map size for each planet, which is about the size oh, yeah. of three Athens zones as an example and that is Odyssey that is something and that, not the whole of england recreated you know, in outlaws Ubisoft, here in that one map approach there comes in at around 120 kilometers by the way which is massive and some know. may say it's like a, a battle indeed. Battle indeed. now if you are enjoying this breakdown so far please do leave a very swift like down anyway, below um, i genuinely yeah. really appreciate it and if you do end up giving they this game a go large please do studio. consider or remember to use the andy reloads credit um, code at ubisoft checkout because you will get one penny or one cent of your purchase, of which is we've seen smaller outstanding. But jokes aside, I genuinely successful. really appreciate your support. So thanks very much. And I'll uh, yeah. put a link in the pinned comments. Now, one of the most appealing features to me in this game is the ability to ride our speeder, which, as confirmed by Julian Geraiti at Comic-Con, has been inspired and designed around a Swedish motocross bike where we'll be able to do tricks out in the world when exploring. And it also comes equipped with a auto piloting system similar to the follow road mechanic, actually, in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, where you can kind of go AFK while your horse yeah, auto follows stuff. the road. Uh, and if you get off it somewhere, you can then summon this bike back to you. Honestly, to me, they, they Julian also mentioned the best that included all Luke the, Skywalker's the speeder popular games. as a hot rod inspiration which is design, what the best usually travel do. across the whole of tatooine getting yeah. involved in um, high speed chases know, it and also engaging like in combat whilst that in our was bike or speeder for them to which focus as you can see here seems to be the, inspired the by the red dead dead eye ultimate to, move in that game where we can to really immerse you into the game to then one shot enemies but uh, julian but confirmed to famitsu that this is just enough. one of yeah. the abilities k will have on her vehicle so i would say expect quite a lot more here now i'm hoping there may be pod racing or speeder races of some kind in this game as i still actually play uh pod racer on my switch to this day i actually so played I love that not too long ago myself so i love well, that it's not yeah launch, dude do you remember i used to play the shit fun game i used to play the crap let's out talk of about this we had that one side winder designed to work the alongside the, the reputation out. system as confirmed by julian again God, he's been on so a rampage good. in interviews recently and how this works is that you can accept small missions contracts and side quests from certain factions to increase your favor and this, reputation. Then that's the with Disney them. part of it. Doing that so, I'll you'll overlook. then unlock exclusive quests with right. that faction, special discounts yeah, at complete, vendors, and access to uh, locked off areas. But if game. you are then seen to be killing or assassinating syndicate members or so disrupting cool, their illegal trade like by working yellow, for a competing it? faction, like as a you can see here, fighter, as an example, yeah. As our yeah. reputation with the pikes reduces after trashing their facility, you will then become and, wanted yeah, by I, them if you then continue sense, to right? cause them mm -hmm. issues where they will then send their own bounty hunters after you and attack See, I'm just, I mean, like, now, what I see, Kavari, it the looks like director, they have really put a lot of effort into it. the main story will account like a story, for your current like you want. reputation with those factions and syndicates. Yeah, well, I mean, it looks like it, but I mean, you can't really tell from clips, right? negative no, dialogue I mean, options with those syndicates, respectively. Yeah, it's hard to say. On top of all of this, if you continue to conduct yourself in an outlawish manner, they're talking big the too. They're saying will the also put a bounty there. on you, which is way more negatively impactful in game than just God, syndicate that, bounty wanted, hunters. That's so of cool, the man. Yeah. It looks the good news here being that pristine. you can de escalate I mean, like very high, high, high in the game. Uh, and let's talk about that now because one of the best ways we can avoid what engine they're using. I guess the Empire, Ubisoft has their own or make amends with them or is through bribing, which we can Probably. see in action from the gameplay teaser revealed last year as confirmed by julian again in a edge magazine article actually back in september you can actually buy yourself to safety in certain situations for a period of time or reduce your notoriety with factions by paying them off essentially and the team haven't confirmed yet what the max wanted level is in the game amongst the syndicates or the empire itself but if we do reach that level we can reduce it back down to zero by completing these side quest missions or just spending a ton of credits yeah, to bribe good. absolutely everyone we see similar to another ubisoft mechanic in assassin's I creed love where a game you can that rip down wanted in. posters off the walls yeah. to reduce your notoriety most recently it does feel like they, they did a, so a little better with in um, outlaws now as for the syndicates the themselves we don't yet have seen. a full list oh, of yeah. all of the clans yeah, that, available or syndicates in this game but we that do makes have the Ashida clan officially confirmed so far which has been a new creative clan alongside lucas film with their members traits focused on respecting honor yeah, this game tradition my, and history man. as well as the huts also being confirmed where we will be able to betray 
Jabba the Hutt directly if we want to, and of course, the Pikes who are That's spice cool. traffickers and dominate that section of trade. Yeah, the Hutt, right. the Hutt, the yeah. Time yeah. in the galaxy. Now, before we tuck into combat details, I want to show you how I play all my Star Wars and open world games after a long day at work. I'm actually interested in this. Who sent me this awesome X500i gaming projector. And not only was it super easy yeah, to set up, I don't have a wall for something like that. Plugging it in to a power source. And well, that's the great PS5, thing is that you, you don't, don't have to be 25 super far meters away, away from it, it to actually get yeah. the projector into focus, which is yeah. wonderful because I'm actually sat 1.5 meters away here and I'm getting 120 FPS at 4K quality with a 100 inch screen, which has actually blown my mind on how good projectors have come in the last probably years. speaking of which this projector has we'll also changed the my experience and let him like i said the I, gold standard I, I, of cinema I that like being that the prequels uh, of course being q has always been hello good. Uh, because yeah, even I, though I this x500i yeah, has been around that for a long gaming time. it has yeah. android tv built into it so it's like uh, we can talk over it a little bit i guess with you uh and mention the fact d bradley baker is uh voicing from the pet in the game i am very proud of you it's also yeah, got this uh, cool bit of software built into it called well known Settings voice Exchange, actor. which He's allows you to download pre-made stuff expert from projector Dora settings to experience the game. Ben 10, the way we pro like gamers Clone Wars, like to all kind enjoy of it. And yeah. you can also share Finish your own settings profile online with everyone else to use. He's done it all. I'm looking forward to doing yeah. it when Outlaws so. releases. It works on Xbox. PlayStation Good to see Switch, him getting some more work. Instantly recalls and loads your previous game well, settings, nice so you don't need to mess around there with there the well. menus every time you do right. switch games. Well, he's a critter, so very much worth the investment. Yeah, so I was going to say he's playing a critter. A lot of time with it over the last few weeks. I'll pop a link below the like button down below. And cheers to BenQ for supporting the channel. Now, when it comes to combat, our primary weapon will be our blaster. With Mathis Carlson, the game director, going on to say that as we progress throughout the game, the blaster will evolve and improve, becoming a very versatile tool for more than just killing enemies at range such as changing the ammunition to explosive bullets which could then be effective against I enemies like. with I'm not sure about the evolving quarters. thing you, you know also I mean? see an example of this playing There's out only so much you can do with the blast or like give me an K opportunity to have a change of blast or something to a focus mode right and, and down the lb button he, he does damage, mention that to a like weapon upgrade. there are or we can look in, into in this improving video the that he's breaking down right weapon. now when it first aired you can see here again if we don't do that it will then overheat blast right that gun right there right very similar to a star wars battlefront 2 gameplay so apparently there are a variety of and i'm expecting a mix of there you go. Star Wars and Jedi Survivor here with the blaster combat. If you've actually played either of those games, either, and I would love to see more. But I would agree. I does feel like there's some rifles limitation in the next as to if we do get one before what you launch. Can do with a but blaster. what about spaceship combat they don't and have traveling a back and forth between planets? Well, first no of all, we won't her. be able to freely well, travel. Well, that's what I was going to say. They'll probably have a lightsaber present, but not for her. Right. But as Julian said, it's okay for someone else to wield it, but she don't need to be. It will be seamless. And from like, I don't want her to have any kind of jedi from last connection year. like she is essentially a female loading screens and perhaps yeah. we'll see and, and, and they say that you know it's weird in this game uh in, in the, the in the star as wars we realm as far as their games are planet or moon, concerned we do get some um, initial freedom to explore there, the space around uh, that location where julian says Tor, that we'll be able to trade Republic, the smuggle game. and fire against uh, pirates, everything well follows along in this area their, which brings uh, us nicely onto combat stratification space, i guess the trailblazer ship you have jedi sentinels you have scoundrels lasers a you have like everything is boost, kind of like hyperdrive, this which we will use to travel between yeah. planets the caveat being it right. does take she is a little bit of time to warm up cool. before you can use it so you can they did it looks like they did killed better or stopped than starfield too with the starship <laughs> yeah the i mean it's just like dude a camera and they were already working on it. it's not like they got to see starfield and said oh hey enemy we can, in your ship automatically we can do better than them the shooting and weapon well, i'm on your sure they had access so to a large to library of if you do want star wars flight game. now games what about customization in this game can you actually create your own character well i'm afraid the answer is no just to be straight with you as this a lot is of a hit single and player rpg in that world game and Kay Bass is the main protagonist yeah you will only you get to play as her just like we can right now. a lot of people are not happy Jedi about that I, now, according to navid we'll be able i get to it i mean like you should probably have a female version i mean a male pistol, version of her even though it hasn't yet him. been confirmed <laughs> i damn. imagine hairstyles and helmets will be included here as well but now as we don't i get it i mean like this is this is the one part we've already talked about it's that very we can Disney. Upon like our it's and spaceship. So expect Disney a bit has a of gameplay for here, doing depending matriarchal on how you like to fly. And going on Ubisoft's life. track record for a games. cosmetic store and microtransactions in their games, I'd also say expect a full store of cosmetics on launch. And of course, as pre-order bonuses. Now, MTX aside, one thing I think Ubisoft does really well in its game development is how it integrates real-world history 
inside its games and also teaches you about certain cultures, daily life, and stories verified by so historians good in that Star time period. Now, of course, Star Wars real. is a well, fictional that's, universe. That's what I was going to say. This is necessarily a real world. There wasn't a whole Star lot of Wars real world in the early in uh, uh, Assassin's Creed with previous Creed games, right. which games, they describe right? as virtual so, tourism inside a Star Wars universe. And uh, I'm, I'm guessing, on the like, we know this place website, takes place we'll be able between to experience uh, the Empire Jedi. Moisture Farms on Mos Eisley to then seeing cantinas being constructed this the world with the team following the rule towards the outer Lucas realm, film but not necessarily the in. Have environments that are familiar to Earth that are real life inspired, uh, really while the other yeah, 20% yeah, had that is fantastic. Yeah, I don't even Alien. know. Now, Navid Kavari, the narrative director, followed up on this quite nicely in an interview with Kotaku, where he said there will be three different types Scoundrel of experience. Scoundrel film you've been dreaming. The first of. is dense cities with syndicates and corrupt imperials Man, all over the shop. The so second is in. vast, mysterious open world environments, and the third is space where we can explore around mm, each mm, planet. Mm. So there's a lot of possibilities so far here from what we've been hey, told. And of course, it's not unlike it's to me to um, the Harry Potter game. managed until we see more Star gameplay Wars. and features for ourselves. Yeah. And if you it do want to know more about this game, make sure you do subscribe if you haven't already done so, as I'll be covering the game from well, start to finish with updates. I mean, great great video. Hopefully, yeah, some so interviews as I recently done spoke with to the Avatar uh, developers. Reloads. Yes, thank you very much for a fantastic video, Andy. We're going to stop you there. And, uh, so, yeah, I just thought that was worth taking a look, man, because I, it's so often it's hard to, I mean, unless you're just an uber nerd that's plugged into everything, it's hard, often hard to get the news. Compile it. Yeah, and the stuff that you're interested in. Yeah. And, you know, you, you might be missing a ton of stuff like I had. I mean, that was just well put together. So I just thought it would be worth a look, trying something different uh you know maybe we didn't do it the best the way we could do it differently next time we'll see you know leave us a comment and let us know what how we could do that differently in the future because we're always okay. learning trying new stuff we're threatened to do this as a live broadcast but we we didn't we didn't try it now we were lucky we, we managed to get this to work here and there but you know we'll <clears> yeah. see it happen yeah, so uh, guys, on your way out, if you made it this far, please hit the subscribe button, give us a like, give us a dislike if you didn't like it, whatever. Just uh, please, me. yeah, give us some help if you can. Thank you so much, guys, for hanging out with us a little extra time this week. And as always, be excellent to each other, and we'll see you on the flip side. Yeah. Peace out.